first peek at this machine and I have not actually opened it up yet so I thought I would do that and record it so we can take a look and see what's inside. I am going to be putting uh, two uh, 128 gigabyte Plexdoor M5M um, SSD, MSAT SSDs in this and raid them um, unless you're a heavy data access user that really is not uh, you know that advantageous for most people but I thought I'd just do it because it has that capability and, and test it out um, I'll probably eventually go to a single 256 gig I'm SATA and I have a uh, 960 gig uh, crucial M500 SSD as well that fits in the two and a half inch slot um, I think I am Oh, we've got to lift up over here. Oh, there we go. Simple as pie. And kind of what you'd expect. This thing has 8 gigs of RAM. I think it's a 750 gig hard drive. And then there's your CPU, GPU, fan, heatsink. Um, your Wi-Fi card. I also have a Intel 7260 AC card. Uh, thanks to uh, Larry at LPC for getting that to me promptly. And then uh, there's, looks like uh, one of the M SATA slots. And then there's the other one. And we will see how well that works. Okay, here's the W230ST. I've cleaned off the heatsink. I've uh, changed the Wi Fi card to the Intel 7260 with the uh, 802.11ac. Um, one of the Plex Store 128GB SSDs, another Plex Store 128GB SSDs. Uh, the screws are already provided uh, for the, actually the one screw to hold that down, like right there and right there. Same thing with the Wi Fi because I already had a Wi Fi. I swapped out the RAM, which actually they gave uh, Samsung um, CAS 11 RAM, which is actually pretty decent stuff, but. I uh, swapped it out with some Kingston HyperX uh, DDR3-2133. Um, I haven't even turned this machine on yet, so I don't even know if the BIOS or if there's any way to change it next to you or anything. I thought I'd put it in there though, just in case. And uh, then uh, the Crucial M500 960GB uh, SSD. Um, so I should have plenty of storage, uh, fast uh, OS and apps, and then uh, still plenty fast uh, um, for games and, and, and other uh, data coming off of that sucker there. Um, so I'm going to, uh, well, here's the uh, heat sink. It's just uh, similar to the W110ER where you've got um, seven uh, screws that uh, come off easily, uh, two heat pipes to a heat sink, which uh, uh, secures down, goes right, uh, nestles at that fan there. And so I'm going to button it up now, reapply some paste, button it up, and uh, then uh, get it powered on and get uh, Windows installed. I think I'm going to start with Windows 7 because it seems that there's Windows 7 drivers for everything. I'm tempted to try Windows 8 just uh, to see uh, if there's, because those drivers seem to be priority to Sager at the moment. So um, I will let you know.